This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to center a subtool temporarily for sculpting and then return it back to its original location? So here I just have the earthquake model loaded in. And let's say I want to work on his bandage or his taping for his wrist here. So I can normally just come through and say start manipulating this like normal. But sometimes this object or this subtool may be located way off from the center of the ZBrush world or the center of the model. And this at times may make it a little bit difficult to modify. So is there a way I can take this subtool and position it to the center of the ZBrush world temporarily, sculpt on it, and then return it back to the original location? So the process to do this is first just make sure you have the subtool you want to modify selected. And then you need to locate the transform palette up here and simply click on S pivot. Now, the S pivot or the set pivot button will take the current subtool you have selected and then position it to the center of the ZBrush world. So, if I just simply come here and click on this, you'll notice that the earthquake model will appear to shift. And if I turn on transparency, you'll see that the taping subtool there is now in the center of the ZBrush world. So now I can come through and say activate solo, and then come in now and manipulate this in the center of the ZBrush world here. You can also apply any of the world transform or world mirroring options here to apply different effects. So this will allow you to come through and just isolate this part, and then it's now in the center of the ZBrush world. Now after you're done with your changes, you simply just need to come back to your model and navigate back up to this transform tab up here and locate the C pivot button. Now when you click the C pivot or the clear pivot button, it will clear that pivot we just set and return that part to the original location on your model. So this is extremely handy for just quickly coming through and selecting a subtool and then navigating to transform, hitting the S pivot, turning on solo, making your modifications as needed, then returning back, going to the transform palette again, and hitting C pivot, and now return that subtool back to the original location. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!